One of the most popular or often asked questions I receive frequently is the probability of the golden child becoming narcissistic or a narcissist later on in life. And while this is a loaded topic and there will be many questions, we're going to dive into this topic to explore this probability in further detail. This is not an easy question to answer, but let's dive in. Our hope is that you'll be able to gain clarity on your situation or research to understand that the answer may not be an astounding yes or no. And we will delve in to determine why. While narcissists behave in a cyclical fashion with the cycle, which is idolize, devalue, and discard, Making a blanket statement that all golden children become X, Y, Z later on in life is not a statement we are ready to make. Narcissism as a whole is a complex social dynamic. Yes, we can recognize patterns, but it's not a one solve for all, I'm afraid. But on the flip side, we have a lot to learn on the subject. We invite you to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and Ring the bell to be notified of future episodes. While we have discussed golden children, their challenges, struggles, their relationship with the scapegoat of the family and more, let's recap why the golden child is called the golden child. The golden child, as opposed to the other members of a narcissistic family environment, scapegoat, enabler, narcissist, lost child, etc., is the member of the family that receives accolades and praise and is treated like they can do no wrong, put on a pedestal, so to speak. But it's not a one-time event. It's repeated and reinforced. It's compounded over and over again by not only family, but extended family. Then this can leak out to friends, even acquaintances, and colleagues, and the list grows. The concept of a golden child refers to a role within the family dynamic where one child is favored and praised excessively, often at the expense of other siblings, for example, the scapegoat, the lost child, etc. While being the golden child may seem appealing on the surface, studies have shown that this upbringing can lead to potential psychological challenges later in life. One such challenge is the development of narcissistic tendencies later on in life. In this episode, we will explore the probability of the golden child becoming narcissistic when they reach adulthood, shedding light on the underlying factors and potential outcomes. Ready to dive in? The golden child dynamic can arise for various reasons such as the child possessing certain qualities or talents that align with the parent's expectations, or simply being the firstborn or only child. They often receive excessive attention, not just regular attention, admiration and preferential treatment from their parents, which can create an idolized self-image in their minds. Narcissism is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a need for constant admiration, and a lack of empathy toward others. While not all golden children become narcissistic, their upbringing can contribute to the development of narcissistic traits due to several factors. Overvaluation and entitlement. The constant praise and favoritism bestowed upon the golden child can foster a sense of entitlement leading them to believe they are superior and deserving of special treatment. This overvaluation can inflate their ego and fuel narcissistic tendencies. What is important to note is this constant praise and even adoration is reinforced time and time again and endorsed or perpetuated by one or more parents or even siblings, even to extended family. They are treated like they are gifted without necessarily doing extravagant, life-saving things. They are just treated differently, special. While one child is treated differently than another is a whole different topic to be discussed later. 
but some of it is covered in our other episodes. A link will be in the description. When children are young, they should receive a proper amount of support, praise, and encouragement. Lack of true, genuine empathy. Empathy is an endearing trait to have. Some even characterize it as a skill. However, growing up with repeated accolades with superstar status can foster a lack of empathy in golden children. The golden child may struggle to understand or relate to the experiences and emotions of others, leading to a lack of genuine empathy. Can they fake empathy? Yes. But it's done in a twisted way and often supports blame shifting, for example. I'm sorry you feel that way. Unrealistic expectations. The excessive admiration and expectations placed upon the golden child can create immense pressure to maintain an idolized self-image. Failing to meet these expectations can result in feelings of insecurity, which may manifest as narcissistic tendencies as a defense mechanism. Enabling the environment. If the golden child's narcissistic traits are reinforced and rewarded, either implicitly or explicitly, it can further solidify their belief in their own superiority. This reinforcement within the family environment can create the development of narcissistic behavior. It's important to note that not all golden children will become narcissistic adults. Many factors, such as the child's personality, the presence of positive role models inside the family, and experiences that challenge their entitled worldview can mitigate the likelihood of developing narcissistic tendencies. Now, if one or more caretakers have narcissistic tendencies, the golden child may model the behaviors and attitudes of this caretaker. Two, keep in mind there may be a motivation for a narcissistic caretaker to have a golden child. Narcissistic supply, enmeshment, manipulation, Golden children should be exposed to diverse social environments where they can learn the value of empathy, cooperation, and equality. Encouraging healthy relationships with peers and promoting empathy can counteract the self-centeredness that may have developed during their upbringing. Helping golden children develop self-awareness can facilitate introspection and an understanding of the impact of their actions on others. Teaching them to reflect on their behavior and emotions can foster empathy and discourage narcissistic tendencies. While recognition and praise are important for a child's self-esteem, it is crucial to provide constructive criticism and teach them how to handle failure or setbacks. It can't be one-sided with just praise and accolades only. The scapegoat can't be the party that receives only the criticism. This balanced approach can help golden children develop a realistic, healthy, and proper self-image, not one that is inflated, and reduce the risk of leaning toward developing narcissistic tendencies. While being the golden child in a family may initially seem like a privileged position, it can carry the risk of developing narcissistic tendencies in adulthood. The probability of a golden child becoming a narcissist depends on various factors, including the child's personality, family dynamics, and the presence of mitigating influences. By fostering healthy relationships, promoting self-awareness, and providing a balanced approach to praise and criticism, the probability of the golden child developing narcissistic tendencies as an adult can be significantly reduced. Drop a comment below. Were you the family scapegoat or were you the golden child? Perhaps you were the lost child. Has this episode been helpful? Drop your questions or comments below. If you like this episode, be sure to catch the next one here. Thank you for watching.